Hey everybody, Nate Mullen, AKA The Illuminator here. I'm here today in my office to explain our new method of wiring called the FACT method of wiring. And how it all comes about is it involves our 30 foot piece of wire that comes out of our fixture in a loop. So we call this the loopable link. 30 feet of wire ties back into itself. Now really the sure genius behind this is when I used to own unique lighting. So I'm the guy that came up with the equalizer hub method of wiring. So I predetermined as a manufacturer with that 25 foot lead, you had no choice but to go to a hub. If you're buying a fixture from a manufacturer that has a three foot or a six foot lead, they're forcing you to go with the trunk and branch method of wiring or a daisy chain. So manufacturers are predetermining the method of wiring that you are using. And that isn't right and that ain't fair. So now that we have such high efficiency transformers, our transformers are power drivers, our LED power drivers are 100% more efficient, coupled with the efficiency of LEDs, we're allowed to do things that I used to do when I was an electrical contractor. When we used to wire thousands of these two by four lay-ins, we had no wiring method. It was daisy chain, T, lube, hub, any method that you wanted. Now we're able to do that again. So we're coming up with a method of wiring called FACT, F-A-C-T. And the FACT, the F stands for fixture to fixture wiring. The A stands for adaptable to all methods of wiring. The C stands for customizable dual lead. And then T is modified wiring. So the premise behind this is you're gonna get 30 feet of wire. You, depending on where the fixture is at, you're gonna cut this dual lead, or you're gonna cut this loop it changes into a customizable dual lead and you can do whatever you want. T, daisy chain, modified T, hub method of wiring, any single thing that you want. So there's a couple very simple rules here, right? We're going to group things into 10. I used to group things into five in the halogen days. Now we're going to group things into 10. Then we're going to sit there and we're going to have Junction boxes, which I now call our home boxes. All right. So if I had a transformer location, and we'll say the transformer location was right here. And these are fundamentally where my fixtures are at. I'm kind of going to come in here and I'm kind of going to just, like I said, group them in, in groups of 10. Right. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, fundamentally, here's a group. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, fundamentally, that's a group. Maximum of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That could be a group. Okay. Here's kind of a group. Okay. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, if I wanted to have this be a group here. All right. So, I have really one rule, and then we can deviate from that one rule. Right. This whole premise is really dedicated between... Transformer to home boxes, right? So I'm gonna, if I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna have a home box, right? I'm, I'm, let me use a different color. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna put a box at these group settings right here, okay? There's gonna always be a home box in front of the transformer, all right? And I'm gonna come out with 12.2 to my primary home box. I'm gonna put a P for primary, all right? These are gonna be secondary home boxes, which I'm gonna come out with 14.2. So I'm going to run a piece of 14.2 out to there. I'm going to try to always say I don't want more than 50 feet of 14.2. All right. I'm going to come out to this guy. 14.2. All right. Beautiful. And then what I want to try to do, if I can maintain no further than 50 feet on the 14.2, 75 feet on 12.2, and I keep them in groups of 10 or under, if I can keep it around 120 feet of the 18.2 supplied, I don't ever have to use a voltmeter. I don't ever have to use an amp probe. I don't have to do anything. So when I look at this logistically, and I'm sitting there knowing that I can use any method I want. Well, look at I got two fixtures here. I'm going to dive one into the home box, and I'm going to daisy chain this together. I'm going to dive this one back into back into the home box. So it's it's like a home run by itself. Coming this guy into this guy. I'm going to go this guy to this guy. I'm going to come back off of this fixture and tie back into that guy. Okay? All right. Down here at, the, at this at this home box, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tie these fixtures together like this. I'm going to come back over to this guy, tie these guys in. All right? 
I'm gonna take this fixture, tie it into that guy, that guy goes into that guy. Then I just basically loop them together. That easy, all right? I come over here and I run another 18 to from this guy. Then I just fixture to fixture wiring these, all right? Come over to this guy, tie that guy in, and I can go fixture to fixture. Come over here, this is like the modified T now. Come back up, modified T again, all right? So I can combine fixture to fixture, daisy chain, modified T, every method of wiring. Now I supply you 50 feet of wire with every transformer. I supply you 30 feet of wire with every fixture. And an average job, which I'm gonna say is 95% of your jobs, you're never gonna buy 12-2 or 14-2 again because I supply it. I'm gonna eliminate half of your connections. And how we do that is because there's a 40, there's a 30 foot lead here, I run, take this wire, I cut it, and I run over to here and I run over here. There is no connection here. There's a connection here. There is no connection here. There's a connection here. So when you do this and you strategically do all these methods of wiring, I'm gonna eliminate 50% of your connections. I'm giving you the wire. So you're gonna save at least 50% in labor. So this is called the fact method of wiring, right? It, com it combines everything. So I hope you understood this. It's very simple. I'm super proud of it. And um, I wanted you to make sure you can go online at lifetimelightingsystems.com. You can get all this detail. There's a lot of illustrations, a lot of charts, voltage drop charts, different tips. So uh, anyway, make sure you go to lifetimelightingsystems.com. Thanks for paying attention. And as always, we're here to help. Thank you.